it has been a while, like two years, right? Yeah, it's just about, yeah. I mean, I don't know what happened to you. You just kind of fell off the face of the earth. So did you like transfer somewhere else or something? More like a break. I took a year off, but I've gone back. Oh, okay, well good. Well, I gotta commend you on that girl because not many people drop out of school and actually go back. Enough about me. What have you been up to? Girl, not much at all, you know. I just graduated this past spring, and now I'm working at an accounting firm downtown. That is so great. Good for you. So I guess you don't live too far from here. I actually don't live too far from here, but I'm looking to, you know, move closer to my job. So you're moving? Well, yeah. I mean, well, I've been living with my girlfriend, mm-hmm. you know, since, you know, since I graduated. And she has no problem with me living there, but, you oh. know, it's time for me to get my own place. I see somebody's getting paid. If that's what you want to call it. I must be getting paid too much, you know, because I can't seem to find anything. You know what? What? Nah, maybe not. No, no, what is it? No, I know of this couple who've been trying to look to rent out a place, but I think it's like a studio or basement or something. Oh, okay, a studio wouldn't have a problem with a basement. I don't know about a basement, girl. You know what? Let's exchange numbers, and if I come across something, I would be so glad to help. All right. Crazy? Yes, probably something you fed him got him acting crazy like that. You know he likes to eat though. <laughs> you want me to get that? No, it's okay, I got it. Hello? Hey girl, what's going on? Hey Marlene, how you been? I'm fine, thanks for asking. Did I catch you at a bad time? No, I'm a little busy, but it's okay, go ahead. Take a look at what? You know, the place you told me about. I've been looking so far, oh. and it's just been a waste of my time. Okay, well, let me get the number, and um, I'll give you a call back, okay? Thank you so much. I'll be waiting for you. You're call. welcome. Hi, may I help you? Hi, I'm Marlene. I called about the place yesterday. Oh, Marlene, Marlene, oh, Marlene. Uh, I'm just getting home from work and my wife's not in yet. But let me get the keys and I'll okay, no be problem. right back. This way. Okay. Here we are. Mm-hmm. All new kitchen appliances. I mean, uh, nice refrigerator and stove. Okay. You also have a lot of closet space here. Okay. All right. right. This is this is this and, is uh, different though. Mm-hmm. And this bar in the middle. You can also use this for counter space. Also here, a lot of cabinet space. Uh-huh. I'm really glad I decided to see the place. I think it'll be perfect for me. Hopefully, I can say the same thing about the price. Uh, to be honest, me and my wife, we haven't discussed the price yet. But um, just so I know, how much are you looking to spend? With my tight budget, I would be comfortable in like 500 range. Okay. Like I said, I'm going to talk with my wife. And um, we should have a price for you by tomorrow. Okay. 
just want to show you, uh, you notice the hardwood okay. floors we just put down. Yeah, the floors look really nice. Mm -hmm. I, was, I noticed that when I first walked in, they look really nice. Mm -hmm. I want to also show you the bathroom and the uh, bedroom. Okay. Right this way to the bathroom. Have a washer and dryer. Um, nice new sink here. Yeah, I like it. It's cute. Yeah, and wash and dry. More convenient, too. You can wash your clothes, you know, right in the apartment. I like the wash and dryers. Nice. Mm -hmm. And here is the bedroom. Okay, nice size. Be careful with that, that's glass, all right? Good morning, Mr. Duncan. Good morning, Marlene. Today must be the big day. Yeah, I figured doing it on the weekend give me a chance to straighten things out before the work week, you know? <laughs> if there's one thing I hate, it is moving. Well, hopefully I won't have to move anytime soon. That is, of course, unless I hit the lotto. <laughs> well, at least you got movers and you're getting all new furniture. That ought to save you some time. It is a blessing. Where's your wife? I still haven't met her yet. No, you just missed her. She just left a few minutes ago to go by her mom's house, but I'll certainly tell her you asked about her. Please do, and thank her again for me. Oh, don't mention it. If you need us, we'll be back in a couple of hours. Thank you so much for everything. Oh, it's fine. Uh, we're so glad to have you renting from us. Oh, that's so sweet. Thank you. All right, hopefully I'll see you later. All right, thank you. Hey, babe, did you remember to um, lock the gate? Yeah, I locked it. Oh, yeah, Marlene said hello, and she also asked me to thank you. Who is Marlene, and what is she thanking me for? The young lady who just moved in downstairs. Her name is Marlene. She keeps thanking us for allowing her to move in. She's moved in already? Yeah, she was moving in this morning when I left. But I don't know if she's done. Well, was she moving in by herself? Or does she have any kids? I doubt that she has any kids. Uh, <laughs> why would anyone with kids want to move into a one-bedroom basement apartment? Well, I guess that makes sense. Well, is she older or younger than us? She looks like she's around our age, um, maybe a little younger. I get the feeling she's someone who just moved out of her parents' home. Well, she is working, right? I think she works for an accounting firm downtown. Wait a minute, accounting? Well, maybe we should be charging her more. What do you think? I know she's not an accountant. She just works there. <laughs> Besides, she just graduated from college, I mean, how much could the girl possibly be making? Well, you were making good money right out of college. Baby, I was just lucky. Well, I don't understand why she would want to move into a basement apartment. Look at you. <laughs> Honey, look, she's just starting off in her career and... Look, our basement doesn't look like most basements. Well, as long as she pays that five fifty dollars every month on time, <laughs> then she's all right with me. That's my wife. Shut up. <laughs> Take your butt to sleep. You know you have a long day ahead of you. Oh yeah, it is getting late. <clears throat> Thank you.
goodness, I've been meaning to come down and welcome you to the neighborhood, but I guess our timing's been a little off. Well, I'm Janet. And I'm Marlene. Pleasure to meet you. Nice, nice to meet you as well. I've heard so many things about you from your husband. Oh, yeah. Well, his schedule is a little more flexible than mine. See, with school and work, I don't know if I'm coming or going, girl. That's right. He told me you're in law school, right? Yeah. I just completed my second year. Wow. Oh, what do you do, if you don't mind me asking? I just finished my internship as a junior accountant. Oh, okay, that's good. You must be really good with numbers. Yeah, well, I know in the future it's going to be more challenging, but I really love what I do. And the location, well, I can't beat it. Oh, okay. You work in the city? Yeah, downtown. And in good weather, walking distance, girl. Oh, wow. Oh, that's the one thing I hope for when I graduate, because I hate the heavy traffic. I am not a fan of it myself. Okay, you drive? I have my license, but I don't own a car just yet. Okay, well, me and Marcus share this for now, but we're going to have to get our own soon. <laughs> All right, let me get inside and start cooking for Marcus. Um, if you need anything, we'll be inside. All right, well, it's been great meeting you, girl. Nice to meet you too, Marlene. Bye, have a good night. You too, honey. baby you know I mean it's like that sometimes but what can you do let me just take a look at these bills oh honey I um finally met Marlene when did you meet her today yeah we were coming in together at the same time you know I don't remember asking her but I guess she was coming home from work yeah she seems like a very friendly girl yeah she seems nice Oh, yeah, honey, I'm going to be home a little late tomorrow. Uh, me and a couple of guys are going to get together to play some basketball. Now, exactly how did we get to you and the guys at work? <laughs> I just thought about it, so I figured I'd tell you now before I forget. Is this the company team? Because I thought you weren't going to play again this year. No, I never said I wasn't playing. I just said I wasn't going to play in every game. Or what time is a little late? Hmm. 7 30, 8 o'clock. Well, I'm not cooking, so bring something on your way home. You're not mad, are you? No, I'm not mad. Just don't come crying to me when your knee starts hurting again. Why are you jinxing me, woman? I'm gonna be at my parent. Call me on your way home so I can meet you here for dinner. Sounds like a plan. Now daddy's gonna be in the living room watching a little TV. Yo, I'm telling you man, it's like when football season ends, I can't wait for basketball season to start. Now the basketball season ends, I can't wait for football to start. <laughs> I mean, why is that? That's because your sorry ass team never went. <laughs> okay. And let me guess, how far did y'all get this season? <laughs> come on, man. You know we go to the playoffs every year. Oh, come on, man. Don't talk to me about the playoffs. You come talk to me when y'all start making the Super Bowl. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and speaking about football, you still putting that big screen in the basement, right? Oh, man, I didn't tell you. Oh, come on, man. Don't tell him Janet said no. No, it's not even that. We renting the place out. Are you shitting me? Now we're going to watch the games at on Sunday. Man, we can watch the games at Larry's crib, or we can watch them at your spot. Come on, man. Larry's place is too tight. My TV's too small. And to be honest with you, I ain't got big screen TV money right now. Look, we can get everybody to chip in and get a big screen, something like this, for your spot. Come on, man. You know that Mike and Larry always crying that they broke. How you going to get them to pitch in for a TV that's going to be at my house? They was over there, right? <laughs> they should want to pay for it. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? <laughs> anyway, so... Who you putting downstairs in the basement? Somebody we know? Nah, man. She is fine, though. It's too bad I'm a married man. Oh, word? Yeah, definitely. If I wasn't married, I'd definitely talk to her. Oh, shit. Hook me up. I ain't married. Come on, man. You know I don't do hookups. I barely even know the woman. It's kind of weird, though. I mean, you and Jenny have been living out there all by yourselves, and now all of a sudden you got someone living underneath y'all? Yeah, it is. It is weird, but I guess I get used to it as time goes by. 
What made you run out the basement anyway? You know, I wanted to turn that bad boy into a game room. But Janet thinks it's a way to make some extra income until she starts working full time. I mean, you got a good job. You should make okay money. I ain't had to kill my dreams like that, man. Man, you know that was my dream, too. You try telling that to my wife. <laughs> no, thanks. <laughs> I'll pass on that Who's one. Who's next? Oh, go ahead, big time. You go first. <laughs> you guys were home. I was just about to ring your doorbell. Oh, hey, Marlene. Is there a problem? Uh, not really. Just a small water leak in my kitchen. Thought maybe Marcus could take a good look at it before it gets too big. Got a water leak? Yeah, a small one. I get a repairman to come by first thing in the morning. Well, why waste money on a repairman? You probably can fix it yourself. Oh, you know what, honey? She has a good idea. Maybe you should go down there and take a look at it yourself first. Okay, uh, I'll take a look at it a little later. Well, there's no big rush. Tomorrow's fine if that's okay with you. And, um, is the morning good for you? A couple of things I gotta take care of in the morning that's real important, so the morning is not good. Tell you what, uh, I'll be home all day tomorrow, so whenever you're ready, just come up, ring the doorbell. Yeah, whenever you need anything, Marlene, we're just one flight up, okay? Wow, I really appreciate this, guys. Thank you so much. Have a good day. I haven't said a word since we walked in. Nothing for you to worry about. I'm fine. Excuse me? Did I do something to you? <laughs> so now you don't know what you did? Well, obviously I don't. Please, tell me. <laughs> we walk in here and everything is fine. I would appreciate it if you don't volunteer me to do things around here. Okay, you lost me. What did I volunteer for you to do? You told Marlene I would fix that pipe without even asking me? So what's the problem? The leak needs to be fixed. I understand that, but that's not the point. Well, what's the point, Marcus? Really, because I don't know. Tell me. The point is, you didn't even ask me. I mean, this is my weekend off. Maybe I don't want to fix no pipe. You ever thought about that? Well, Marcus, I just suggested that you take a look at the pipe before calling a repairman. That's all. Now, I know when I'm about to fight about this stupid leak. It's not about the leak. It's about you not letting me make any decisions around here. What? Honey, okay. Is there something else wrong? Because really, this pipe, it's stupid. You know what? I don't have a problem. Let's, let's just drop it, okay? No, I don't want to drop it. Look, I'm not trying to argue about this, but... I just don't... <sighs> okay, look, Marcus, I'm sorry. I'm sorry if you feel like I'm trying to control you, but it's really not my intention. Okay, down there? Yeah, everything's fine. I was just calling to ask you for a 
a favor. I know you got a lot going on right now, so if you can't do it, I understand. Um, what is it? Are you okay? Yeah, everything's fine. Um, I was just calling because I don't know my way around too well, because I don't have any family and friends up here, so I was hoping you could show me around a little bit. Oh, I thought you'd go to school around here. You, would you never been off campus? I have, but only to a few places, and I never went that far. Okay. Well, when you say a few places, what did you have in mind? Well, I remember a mall the girls from school took me to that's not that far from here. So I hope you could take me there just to pick up a few things for work. Oh, okay. Well, I can think of a couple places I can take you for that. Let me, um... Let me just check with my husband, and I'll let you know something by tomorrow. I really do appreciate it. I really do. Okay. Yeah, no. Don't worry about it. Now that I think about it, I think I have a few things I need to pick up myself. Like I said, let me check with Marcus just to make sure he doesn't have anything planned. And maybe we can go this Saturday. That would be wonderful. Thank you. Whenever you talk to him, let me know. Okay, no problem. I'll let you know something by tomorrow, like I said. That would be great. All right, girl. I'll see you tomorrow. All right. Bye. Say hello to your husband for me. Okay, I will. Like you're hiding from somebody. Tasha? Hey, big sis. What's going on? Same old crap. By the way, how's Marcus? <sighs> He's good. He's over by mom and dad right now, helping dad fix the garage. That man is always fixing something. Yeah, well, you know how he is. So, how are my nephews? Bad as usual. <laughs> and Kevin, how's he? Girl, please. I do not want to talk about this man right about now. Oh my gosh. What happened now? I guess mom didn't tell you. Mom? I can't believe you told that old lady your problems before you told me. Girl, I didn't want to bore you with my problems. Besides, that old lady ain't got nothing better to do anyway. <laughs> tell me about it. She's a trip. The other day, she asked Marcus to convince dad to take her on a cruise. Yeah, she was telling me. <laughs> that lady is a trip. <laughs> anyway, this thing with you and Kevin, it's not serious, right? I think it's a final chapter. Girl, don't say that. You two have two kids together. Do you know how hard it must be out there for single moms these days? I've been so stressed out lately, it's not even funny. <sighs> well, maybe you two just need some time apart, you know? Really? What time your flight lands? That is picking me up at five. Oh my gosh, you are serious. What? Well, what about the kids? Yes, we're staying over by their grandmother's for the week. I need a break before I go crazy. Oh man, it would have been so nice to see all of you. I guess next time. All right, girl, we are going to have a stress-free week. We're gonna have a ball. I guess I'll see you tomorrow, baby sis. Let me let you go. All right. Well, no, wait. I'm so excited. You're going to stay here, right? I figured I'd give the old folks the first night. You should come over by mom and dad's. She says she's going to cook. Okay. Well, I'm going to the mall tomorrow, but I'm coming straight over there afterwards. I cannot believe that woman didn't tell me. You know she's getting up there. Probably slip her mind. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to let you go now. Get some rest. You have a long flight tomorrow. Okay, baby sis. I'll see you tomorrow. Good night. Good night.
almost forgot what it's like to go out and have fun. What are you talking about? You guys are always out. Marcus and I go out often, but I'm talking about going out with a girlfriend and going shopping and things like that. Oh, so it was a great idea after all then. It certainly was. I haven't been out since my sister moved out to Seattle. Oh, did I tell you? She's flying in from Seattle today. Really? That's nice. You guys seem like you're really, really close family. Yeah, yeah, I guess we are. So what about your in-laws? Are you close with them as well? Marcus's dad passed away when we were in high school. And then when we were in our second year in college, his mom passed away in a car crash. But um, our relationship was fine with them before their passing. God, it must have been tough for him growing up then. But, but back to you and Marcus, how long have the two of you known each other? Mm, girl, me and Marcus have known each other for all our lives. We grew up right next door to each other. And then we started dating in high school. So you lost your virginity to him? Marcus is my one and only. Wow, that is crazy. <laughs> <laughs> What's so crazy about that? I mean, girl, I applaud you, you know, for being with someone that long. I can't see myself doing it. But, I mean, y'all been together that, that long, so what is it? You don't like kids? Mm, why do you say that? I love kids. It's just so surprising y'all been together that long and y'all don't have any kids. Well, you know, the timing just hasn't been right. We just bought the house, and I still have a couple of years in law school left. So you guys are playing a big soul food family? Oh no, two or three would be just fine for me. But what about you? Is there anyone special in your life? Girl, please, come on. I date here and there, every now and then. But no one really special in my life. I guess I'm still waiting on Mr. Right, you know? <laughs> well, contrary to what they say, there are still some good brothers out there. Yeah, but... From what I see, what you and Marcus have is really special. <clears throat> you should cherish it every chance you get. Yeah. He really is a great husband and a good best friend. So you guys are like true soulmates then, huh? I guess we are. Oh, wow, look at the time. I hope Marcus doesn't get upset with me for keeping you out so long. Oh, no, <laughs> please. I'm telling you, sis, I really like what you've done with this place. I only wish my place could stay this clean. Well, do remember that you have two boys. You mean three boys. I swear that man acts worse than his son sometimes. Don't worry, sis. Before you know it, they'll be grown and out of the house. I can't believe I'm going back tomorrow. Uh, you really enjoyed yourself, didn't you? Girl, thank you. I really needed this. I feel so alive now. I had so much fun this past week. What are you guys doing in here? Talking bad about men again? <laughs> Not about all men, just you. Hey sis, don't listen to that. What's the matter? Did daddy work you to the bone today? I'm telling you, your dad, he should never retire. He could have a full-time job. It's like, he don't get tired. <laughs> <laughs> well, daddy always said that working around the house makes him feel young. You know what I think? I think he'd be breaking stuff just so he can fix them back. <laughs> <laughs> now you know you love that man. Stop it. Yeah, I'm going to have to start sending him a loving bill for how hard he'd be working me. <laughs> oh, goodness. All right, go, go wash up for dinner. Your sister-in-law cooked you your favorite meal. You see? <laughs> you know, you're going to have to move out here permanently. Mm -hmm. Wait a minute now. Are you trying to say that I don't cook? Yeah, you're right. Let me go wash up. Yeah, let you go wash up. That man is a mess. See, that's what I'm missing in our relationship. You guys have so much fun with each other. Well, Tasha, 
You gotta remember that Marcus and I grew up with each other. We've spent years together. We're like best friends. I mean, you're just gonna have to give Kevin some time. He'll change, trust me. I've given this man 12 years. What should I do? Another 12? No love is that strong. Well, maybe it is. Think about it. You guys have been together this long. There's got to be a connection there. Yeah. That would be food, sex, and television. Uh, wait, <laughs> wait a minute. I remember that there was a time that you would never even say the word sex around me. Look at you. Oh, we're getting more comfortable with each other. You're a grown woman. And look at you. You're doing great, girl, and I'm really proud of you. And Marcus, he's a good man. Don't let it let any friend or family come between the two of you. You two really deserve each other. You don't make me cry. I'm serious. Don't let that one get away. All right, I'm gonna take your advice. But that means you gotta take some of mine, too. Girl. I'll kill him before I leave him. Trust me on that. <laughs> you are crazy. Hey, Marcus, what's up? Hey, I'm fine. Things couldn't be better. And you? It could be better. I think you should take a look at that pipe for me again. I'm still having problems with it, it's still leaking. I'm gonna be downstairs. I'm gonna leave the door open so you can just come in, okay? Thanks, bye. Uh, okay. uh -uh. Would you like something to drink? No, thank you. Uh, I think I should come back. For what? You're already here. See if you can fix that for me. Uh, I'm just a little uncomfortable with you standing here like this. Uncomfortable? Don't tell me you've never seen a woman in lingerie before. I mean, your wife. She does wear lingerie like this, right? Yes, my wife does, but... <laughs> You're not her. I'm gonna send somebody else over here to take a look at this. No, no. You don't have to do that. If you're that uncomfortable, I'll just go and throw something on. I appreciate it. this better for you? Anyway, you mean to tell me you've never been with another woman? How did we get on this conversation? We didn't. I'm just curious. Some things I like to keep private and that's one of them. So you don't find me attractive? You're an attractive woman, but uh, I'm a happily married man. <laughs> I just heard so many great things about you. I wanted to see for myself, Marcus. I'm ambitious when it comes to my goals in life. And I'm an ambitious woman. But that shouldn't keep us from being happy. You know what? I'm very satisfied and fulfilled in my family life. Two is always better than one. <laughs> A man of your exposure should know this. Thank you for the offer, but no thank you. Marcus. It's on the table. If you change your mind, I won't tell. You know what? Uh, this leak is a little worse than I thought. I'm gonna call somebody, have them come take a look at it. I'll let you in, know when I the, find in out. In the meantime, Marcus, think about that other problem that needs to be fixed.
So Marcus, what's up with that uh, obsessed tenant of yours? Oh man, I ain't tell you guys? Homegirl tried to come at me last Saturday. What do you mean she tried to come at you? Like I said, man, <laughs> she claimed she had a leak in the basement. Then when I get down there, she tried to get me to sleep with her. Was Janet still upstairs? Yeah, that's the thing, man. She planned it out so well. She knew Janet had to go out, so she tried to get me to come by at the same time. You hit that, right? Hell no, I ain't hit that. Man, you mean to tell me a beautiful woman threw herself at you? Your wife is no way around and you did nothing? Marcus, please, man. Come on, why do you gotta say some dumb crap like that? I'm just saying. You know this man got a good thing going on with Janet? Yo, brother, you did the right thing. My man. I don't know. I gotta agree with Chris on that one. I mean, you mind your own business and this woman came at you? Yep. It's a rough one, but if that was me, mm -hmm. I would hit that. Mm -hmm. What am I doing? <laughs> Yo, anyway, why haven't you introduced me to her anyway? From what I heard, she won't have to throw herself at me. You know I'll get down. That's the difference between me and you, Chris. <laughs> I love my wife, and yet you try to fuck anything that Ooh. moves. Oh, it was like that? Yeah, it's like that. So you telling me you never tiptoed out on Janet? Mm-hmm. No, not since we've been married, no. <laughs> but you have, right? Like I said, not since we've been married. What's wrong with y'all? What do you mean, what's wrong with us? We just don't get it, man. I expect that from you. You oh. never get shit. What the fuck is that for? Hey, man, you always tell me shit. Sure. Look, come on, man. I like where this thing is going. Can we just get back to why we came here? Because there's a need to get to another level. You know what I mean? I know why you started it. You know how this man gets. Yeah, what you mean, how this man gets? Yo, it's a problem when I speak my mind? Man, that's not even the problem. Then what's the problem then, Marcus? What's the problem is, man, you always acting immature. Well, now I'm that's immature. the problem. I'm yeah. Immature? You know what, man? Why don't I just step? Step then, don't man. We don't need to step. Step. Yo, where you going? Oh, man. Step, man. Yo, where you going, man? Yo, man. Marcus, man, honestly, man, I expected better from you. I mean, are you, man, are you freaking kidding me, man? Yo, you rest my whole day for this? Man, look, Tom, we're gonna call another. That's my ride, right, man. Right. I, I gotta go, man. To Chris. And then this will happen the next time. Yo, man, yo, Chris, you are not to argue too much, man. You right. I should have just let it go when he got started. You, you think? Yo, you argue with Chris more than you argue with your own wife. You're not lying. Look, I'll be the bigger man. I go out there and apologize to him. That make you feel better? Then go do something. Yo, the next time somebody fucks up my day, I'm gonna fuck somebody up, man. I guess it's rubbing off. You starting to sound just like Chris. Whatever, man. Here you go. Don't do that. Ew, attitude. What do you want from me, Marlene? Look, I know we got off to a bad start, but if it's okay with you, I'd like to start over. Can we go in and talk? We're fine right here. But you know how things can get if people, you know, see us out here talking at all. I don't think it's that serious. So, you don't take me serious? Don't even go there. The only place I'm going is where you're taking me. In all seriousness, I thought you would have found a new place by Find now. Find a new place? Why would I do that? I just moved here. Are you kicking me out? I think it would be best for all of us. You tell me how it would be best for me. You can't do that. Hello? I just moved here. So now you're telling me how to run my own place? Great, Marcus. You own a house. But guess what? There are laws, Marcus. 
Hello, I'm on a lease. You can't just expect me to pick up my things and move just because you own the house. They're all laws. Sue me then. This is insane. I can't believe you're acting like this just because I said I liked you. I would love to see what you do to those who hate you. Bye, Molly. Bye. This isn't over, Marcus. trying to quit. But anyway, when you get a chance, I'd love to have some girl time with you. Sure. Is everything okay? Everything's fine. I was just, you know, hoping we can do like we did before. Like I don't follow you. Like we did before? Or, you know, shopping, the mall, out to eat. Oh, okay. You want to hang out again? Yeah, so how's this Saturday? <laughs> okay, this Saturday? Well, why don't I check with Marcus to double check that we don't have anything planned already? Oh, okay. Well, I'm sure he would have told you by now, you know, considering Saturday's just a couple of days away. Yeah, maybe. You're right. But let me just double check with the husband, and I will get back to you tomorrow. Okay, well, thanks for considering. Just talk to your husband and get back to me. You can either give me a call or knock on my door, okay? Okay. All right, well, I'll let you finish what you're doing. It would be nice if you offer a sister a ride sometime. Anyway, I spoke to your wife the other day. Spoke to my wife about what? Ah, Marcus. You haven't told her about us, have you? What the hell are you talking about, woman? There's nothing to tell but the fact that you haven't paid your rent in the last two months. I have your rent money, but you don't get what you want until I get what I need. What? What? Nothing. Let me ask you something. You walking around here being Mr. Faithful, family man and all. How do you know your wife is faithful to you? You're a real beautiful woman, but your priorities are all over the place. Look, please, leave me alone. No, you need to check your priorities and stop living in fear. Stop being afraid of your wife. Be a man. You know what? I thought we could talk about this, but I see you leave me no choice. I want you out of here by the end of the month. <laughs> You don't get it, do you? I'm not going anywhere until we come into an understanding. You are a psycho. You haven't seen psycho. I have always gotten what I wanted when I wanted it. So you need to make some decisions that's gonna be in everyone's best interest. Are you threatening me? Because if you are, I don't take threats lightly. <laughs> What are you going to do? Get your little lawyer wife to represent you? Let me explain something to you, sweetie. I've never had to threaten anyone over some damn dick. You really are a crazy freak. If that's what you think. You know what? I'm going to tell you this the last time. Don't, don't make me get ugly, woman. If you try me, I assure you, you will be sorry.
Okay, babe, I'm leaving. I'm leaving to go where? Marcus, I told you yesterday. While you was watching the game? I remember you saying something about the mall and Marlene, and I remember I said I don't think it's a good idea. Marcus, we're just going out to get a few things. And besides, I don't remember you saying anything about it not being a good idea. All right. That's all right. Just, just go. All right. I can see you catching an attitude. What's wrong? I'm not getting an attitude. I'm just... Forget it. Just go. I I'll see you later. Just be careful. Honey, is there something wrong? Because I can go another time. It's fine. Well, do you want anything from the mall? No, baby, but thanks anyway. All right. See you later. Okay, baby. Just be careful. All right, Marcus. That's the second time. Give me this. Bye. All right, baby. See you later. I never really had many friends growing up. Huh? What? You're not even listening. Girl, I'm sorry. What did you say? I was saying that I really appreciate your friendship. Oh, girl, me too. You know, my sister would be real jealous of us because we used to do things like this all the time. That's why it's so hard for me. What? What's so hard? I have something I need to tell you, but I don't want you to get mad. Mad? Why would I get mad, Marlene? Well, it's not, it's not that big of a deal, but I feel like I should talk to you since we've been getting closer. Okay, well, go ahead and say something, because right now you have all kind of thoughts going through my head. It's about me and Marcus. What about you and Marcus? Don't be angry, it's nothing. What do you mean it's nothing, Marlene? I told you you have nothing to worry about. I would never do you like that. Marlene, do you have something to say? He made a couple of passes at me, and at first I thought it was just flirting. And I started to notice whenever you're not around. Is this a joke? I wish it was. Just the day before yesterday, um, he tried, he made an attempt, and when I denied him, he told me to look for, he told me to look for another place to stay. <laughs> no, my, I don't believe you. My Marcus. I'm only telling you this because you treated me like a sister since I moved in. Maybe, you know, you confused or something. <laughs> my Mar my Marcus came on to you. My Marcus? So, so what are you saying? What are you saying? I'm not good enough for a man like Marcus? You know what? Just so we stay Is that what you're saying? just so we stay on the subject matter, we're talking about my Marcus, right? My Marcus. My husband Marcus. I thought you would have figured it out by now. Listen. I really don't like getting in the middle of things like this. But I felt enough was enough. <laughs> Marcus has never cheated on me. Nor has he done anything like what you're saying. Listen, just just go and talk to him. And if there's a misunderstanding, ask him why he hasn't accepted my rent in the past two months. You haven't paid rent in two months? I tried, but he wouldn't accept it. I thought you guys talked about everything. 
Why are you doing this? After everything I've told you, you still don't believe me? Why? You know what? I need... I need to be alone right now. Okay? You can just go on by yourself. I have a stop. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Hold up. You're mad at me? Because I'm looking out for you? That's real fucked up, Janet. I don't know how I feel right now. But until I get some questions answered, I'm just not going to say anything. Hey, what's up? Yo, what up, man? What you up to? Just chilling, playing this game. Yo, you know that conversation we had at my house the other night? I think you need to talk to your wife, man. I think that's what I'm gonna have to do. I mean... <laughs> yeah, before it gets too complicated. And that's, that's how fucked up things are now. Uh huh you see? She's out with Janet now at the mall. No, wait a minute, you mean downstairs in the basement. What? I said in the basement. No, they're at the mall. <laughs> Shopping. Yo, that's crazy. I know. <clears throat> and you know how things can slip out. She wouldn't say anything to Janet like that. I mean, she's not that crazy, I hope. No, you never know. You see, you should have never run out of that basement. You wouldn't have all these problems. But sometimes that extra money ain't worth the headache. Hey, Tommy, uh, Janet's coming in. Let me hit you back. All right. Marcus, I need to ask you something, and I need you to be honest with me. What the hell is wrong with you? Don't you play stupid with me. Don't you sit there and pretend not to know why I'm angry. Really, I don't. I mean, you go out of here fine, now you come back in here like a mad woman? <laughs> you damn right I'm a mad woman. What the hell is going on between you and Marlene? Absolutely nothing is going on between me and Marlene. I was just telling Tommy that. You mean to tell me your friends know about this too? What? Know about what? Exactly what did that woman tell you? She told me exactly what you told your friends and didn't have the balls to tell me. Okay, if you want to talk to me, we can sit down and talk. But if you're going to come at me like that, I have nothing to say to you. Okay, you want to talk? Let's talk. Shut the TV and let's talk, Marcus. What is going on between you and Marlene? Absolutely nothing is going on between us. Look, that woman has psychological issues, okay? She's been coming at me from day one. Marcus, you let me go out with that woman with all of this going on? All of what going on? Nothing's happened between us, and nothing never will. What about the rent? Is that a lie, too? No, that's not a lie. She threatened not to pay the rent unless I gave her what she wanted. I bet she didn't tell you that. And did she tell you I asked her to move out? Marcus, I don't care about her, okay? If you didn't have anything to hide, why did you tell your friends and not come to me? I know, baby, I know, and that's my bad. I should have come and talked to you, but look, she'll be out of here by the end of the month. Oh, hell no. Hell no, Marcus, I need her gone today. Look, look, baby, I know you're upset and all, but look, there's some legal issues that we must abide by, okay? And look, I promise, baby, I will not rent out the place to anybody anymore after that, all <sighs> right? You took the idea right out of my head. Look, I'll get some of the guys together and we can move those walls out, and I could, Get my pool table, get a flat screen. You know you can trust me. Marcus, I just don't, I don't understand. We've always been able to talk about these things and you, you, you trusted your friends instead of me. I know, that was my bad. I should have came and talked to you. But I didn't think this would happen, all right? You can trust me, baby, all right?
Now, what's the matter, Marcus? You don't look so well. Everything's okay, Dad. Just fine. Cut the crap, Marcus. I've known you too long and well enough to know when something's bothering you. Now, what's the matter? Did you and Janet have a fight or something? It's not really a fight. She just been getting on me about that tenant situation. But I thought you guys had talked about it and everything was all right. We did, but I can tell it's still bothering her. I mean, every now and then she'll bring it up in a conversation. Yeah, that's women for you. You'll never stop hearing about it. Believe me, son. What the heck are you injecting in this man's head? What about women? How are we, Edward? You see that, son? This is where you shut it. <laughs> Hi, Mom. How you doing? I'm fine, baby. How are you doing? I'm fine. Well, you don't look fine. Did you eat? Let me fix you something to eat. Oh, no, I'm all right for now. Let me get on in here and help Dad with this TV. Mm -hmm. What was that all about? Boy, your face is just giving up everything. You need to loosen up. No matter what you do or say for a woman, she's never fully satisfied with anything we do or say. No matter how good it might sound. Live life. You're too young to be stressing. What's the matter, Marcus? Mom, you know I can't lie to you, but uh, me and Janet are having some problems, but it's gonna be okay. No, it's not gonna be okay. Is she still fussing about that woman that lives underneath you guys? You knew about that? Yes, I knew. The two of you didn't say anything, so I butted it out. But I hear things. Now you can sit here and listen to everything we're telling you, but the real person you need to speak to is your wife, boy. I will talk to Janet, and I'm gonna tell her. Woman, I thought you just said you were gonna butt out. Oh, hush up, Edward. I'm just trying to get the two of them to work things out between them. Now, don't you think they can work this out on their own? Yeah, Mom, I think Dad's right. Uh, thanks for the advice and everything, but I think I'm going to go home and talk to Jen. I really hope it works out between you two. Thanks, Mom. I'll call you guys when I get home. Dad, you, you going to be all right with that TV? Yeah, yeah, I got it, I got it. Go ahead. Handle your business, son. Okay. Talk All right. Bye. Bye-bye. That boy got his hands full with that girl, don't he? Yeah, it's all over his face. How long are you going to be doing that? I could use some help here. I need you to take out the trash. You always want me to do something. his decision to throw me out? Yes, I am. After all, you did try to sleep with my husband. Is that what he told you? I tried to sleep with him? Please, I wouldn't stoop so low. <laughs> I tried to sleep with you, Marcus? You gonna stand right here in my face and deny it? You freaking nut job. You're a married man. Why would I come at you like that? And Janet, I thought we were friends. How you just gonna believe some mess like that? Come on! First of all, Marlene, who told you we were friends? And second of all, we're not here to chit-chat. After all that we shared, this is how you repay me? Marlene, I know you're not stupid. I mean, you may have a few loose screws that need to be tightened, but come on, you're not stupid. Oh. You didn't think I was crazy when you was telling me all this personal shit about him. Now, did you? Are you really asking for baby. a beat down? Hold baby. this, baby. Oh, 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 so you didn't tell me how he loves to eat food off of your body? And how he 
get so turned on watching you bathe? Or am I making this up too? Oh no, this bitch didn't. Oh yes, bitch, I did. You see, you come and tell me about all of your man's favorite positions and fetishes. And now you want to come to me with an attitude? Uh-uh. Uh-uh. Okay, you know what? You need to go inside, pack your shit, and get the hell up out of my Do house. Do you yeah. really think that little piece of shit eviction notice is going to scare me? I've been thrown out before, but this time it's personal. Look. We can handle this peacefully, or I can call the police and they can drag your ass out of here. Now, which one is going to be? Know what? Make a decision. Call the Shit, goddamn now I'm calling police. the fucking police. Call the Come goddamn on. police. It won't be the first time someone calls them on me. You're welcome to do whatever you please, but be careful where it just might lead your asses. Here this bitch is with these psychotic threats. Come on, let's I said it before, and I'll say it again. Don't be fooled by this pretty face. <laughs> Let's go, Marcus. It's time to call the police. Yeah, yeah. Well, bye, bitches. I guess I'll see you when they get here. Wait, wait. What? Don't call him yet. What do you mean, don't call him yet? I need her out, and I need her out now. No. I do too, but think about it. Even with the eviction we have, the city police can't just come and take her out. So what are you saying, we give her more time? Maybe we should go back to the courthouse tomorrow and get a final notice. And with that, the sheriff can come and get her ass out. So if you think that's best, I'll go by the courthouse and I'll talk to the judge in the morning. Okay and I'm going with you. I can go by myself. We both don't need to go down there and miss time off from work. It'll be fine. I'll go straight to work after the courthouse. I'll just miss a few hours. I think it's really important for the both of us to be there so the judge can see how serious we are about this. <sighs> well, okay. What are you doing in here? As a matter of fact, how the hell did you get in here? Oh, wait a minute, it's not what it looks like. I'm not trying to rob you or anything. Can't you see I can 
treat you so much better than Janet. You know Woman, this. you are crazy. You know what you I'm, I'm calling the police. No, baby, don't do that. I'm in love with you. I said, how'd you get in here? What can I do to prove my love? I'm calling the police. I got a call. I'm going to have to take this. Hello? Ba baby, I'm here. Uh, it's been a something uh, situation. Yeah, baby, I'm handling it. Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to have to talk to you later. Baby, ba I'll talk to you later. All right. I'm sorry, officer. That was my wife. Uh, you were saying again? When she ran out of the house, did she run out with anything? Uh, I'm not certain if she had anything. I mean... I don't even know how long she was in there. Uh, you have any kids living in the house? No, it's just uh, me and my wife. You or your wife have any relatives that live nearby that are close to you? Yes, we do. Why? Well, Mr. Duncan, right? Yeah, you could call me Marcus. Okay, Marcus. Look, like me and everyone else, I'm sure safety is a concern to you and your family, correct? Most certainly, but I don't think the situation is that grave. I mean, she ran off before you all even got here. Look, I understand your point, but you got to look at it from this aspect. Somebody allegedly broke into your home and didn't take anything. You see where I'm going with that? Look, with all due respect, officer, I, I see where you're going up into this point, but I just don't see how my relatives fit in at all of this. Okay. Baby, actually, you didn't have to this work. is your I'm wife? Ready. Yes, uh, this is my wife, Janet. This is Officer Agnello. How you doing? Hi. Well, look, Detective Boone will be on his way here. He'll take care of you guys. I'm going to let you two talk, all right? Thank you, Carlos. Baby, I told you you didn't have to leave work. I'm handling it. Yeah, you're handling it, Marcus. What, what's going on? Why are look, all these look, cops at our house? Look, baby, I come home from work. I open the door, and Marlene's standing in the living room, okay? How did she get in the house? I don't know. All the doors were locked when we left, and, uh... There are no broken windows. Well, well, where is she at? Where is she now? Did they lock her ass up? Look, she ran off when I was calling the police. They out looking for her now. Oh, God, did you check to see if anything was missing? The thing is, we can't go into the house until they inspect everything. We can't go into the house until they check everything? How long is that going to take? Look, look, excuse me. You two are the owners, right? Yes, sir. I'm Marcus, and this is my wife, Janet. Good to meet you both. I'm Detective Boone. Now, I want to let you know that we have a special unit right now to investigate what's going on in that house, so we want to make sure everything is safe. And approximately how long is it going to take for us to get back into our house? Well, with, with a case like this, uh, maybe one or two days. But your safety is the utmost important to us. Okay, yeah. <laughs> Isn't this great? I can't even go into my own house, and this witch is running around loose. Look, I understand your frustration, but we will catch this perp and bring you some closure, okay? <laughs> so where are we supposed to stay in the meantime, huh? Well, look, I'm sorry I can't make that call for you, but uh, look, you two need time to think. Look, I'm going to go inside and check things out, and I'll talk to you on my way back out in a little bit. All right. Okay? All right, Detective. Thanks. Very good. You bet. Yeah. Marcus, this is crazy. Okay. This is really scary. I come in, I open the door, I hear something. Is she in the, in the living room? <laughs> so, you want me to call? I, I didn't call. I'm trying to call her now. Let's see. Let's see I don't want to scare my parents. I just want to find her and I want them to lock her up and I want to go into our house. Baby, baby, baby. Yeah. We're going we gonna to take her. They, they go in the car. We say. Doing everything we can. I got my guys coming down. They're gonna be here soon. We're investigating. We're gonna make sure everything is safe. So okay? We can't even go in there at all. Not just yet. Not just yet. Trust me. Trust me. We'll get them. Okay? All right. All right. I just wanna see. Did it just look like anything? So far, not yet. You know, she looks like a little forced entry, but mm -hmm. we'll, we'll determine that in a few. Okay. Okay? All right, so uh, thanks. Thank you.
four. Going four. Hey, hey, Marcus. Um, so Chris was telling me about what happened the other day, man. Hey, don't look at me, bro. I ain't tell him nothing. What's up, Marcus? I thought we were boys, man. We're not supposed to know your, your business. Now, if you would have done what I told you to do, took care of me, hooked me up with her, you know what I mean? You wouldn't have to worry about that. It would have been my problem. Man, man she would have been stalking you the same way you stalking this brother. Man, no way, man. I would have hit it and quit it. You feel me, Big Chris? Man, don't put me in this. I'm still mad over him looking at Tommy like that. Yeah, we're going back. <laughs> Yo, we boys, man. If you don't want us to know your business, you don't want us to be around, just let us know. Man, that's real sweet, man. Come on. I just want to know one thing. Are we going to play cards or what? I got to sit here. Listen to him get all sentimental. Man, I feel you about it being all sweet and stuff, but even for me, you know what I mean? That's my dog right there. But Marcus, you should just tell us here so this dude don't have to cry. Since you know it all, Chris, why don't you tell him what happened? Yeah, all I heard is that homegirl broke inside your house. That's it. What? What, you think she was trying to rob you or something, man? I'm still trying to figure that one out myself. All I know is I walk into the kitchen and she's in the kitchen shaking and Crying and scared as hell. Oh, what? Yo, was Janet there? What did she do? You crazy? If Janet was there, she probably would have killed her. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Speaking of Janet, uh, hey, babe. I'm still over to Tommy's uh, playing cards with the guy. Is everything all right? Okay, uh, I'll pick it up. Right? Yeah, yeah, I'm on my way. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, guys. I'm gonna have to call this one in. I gotta pick up something. For the Come on, man. We just started playing. Are you coming back? Hey, you know he ain't coming back. You know when this dude is in, he's in for the night. Yeah. Little Jack got that ass on lock. Here you go again, man. Come on, man. I, I don't even got time to apologize with you this time, man. Look, Tommy, hold me back. Before. Oh, Jesus Christ, man. Can you guys be in the room? Yo, all right, yo, my one bad. Time? All right, my bad. But yo, go handle your business. Whenever you get a chance, just come back or you holler at us, we'll be here. I'll holler at y'all later, alright? Alright, so just hit us back, let us know if you're coming back, alright man? Man, like y'all got nothing better to do. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Damn, Janet got his ass in check. You didn't know? Yeah, you what? Booby whoop. I'm fucking you, booby whoop too. Off that shit. shit. That's why I ain't married. Who the fuck you ain't married because I don't like your ass. <laughs> <laughs> Detective, hopefully you have some good news for me. Well, I don't know if we would call it good news. What do you got? But then again, it may be some good. I'm listening. For starters, I'm glad you're back in your home. But I strongly suggest that you wash and clean all of your belongings. Somehow I feel like there's more. Well, there is. Well, we got the test back from the lab and uh, everything seems to check out okay. The thing is, we found some traces of poison from some milk containers and some juke cartons from your refrigerator. So what's going on? Is it anything else? No, just to let you know that we're still searching for your tenant. But if she, some reason that you hear from her and she decides to come back there, you should call me immediately. I have a couple of offers in front of your home within the hour. Thank you, Detective. Marcus, are those tears in your eyes? That dirty, filthy bitch tried to poison us. The detective just told me that they found poison from the milk and juice bottles in the refrigerator. <laughs> she tried to kill us, Marcus. Marcus, I swear to God, the police better find her before I do. Because if I get my hands on her, I'm going to kill her. Who the hell is that knocking on my freaking door like that? Who are you and what can I do for you? My name is Detective Boone, this is Detective Banks, and uh, 
We're looking for Mrs. Charlene Johnson. Are you she? I am she. What is this about? Can we come in? I don't mean to be rude, but do you have a search warrant? Can you come in? First of all, you're not in any kind of trouble, but we would like to ask you a few questions about your friend Marlene. Maybe I don't know anyone by the name of Marlene. <laughs> Look, miss, uh, your friend may be in some serious trouble, but it would help her and us if we can ask you a few questions. Okay, we come in. Okay, come in. Thank you. Thank you. You guys can have a seat. Thank you. What's going on? Is she okay? Miss, can you tell us when was the last time that you spoke to Miss Goodman? The last time we spoke was about two weeks ago. What is going on? Is she in some type of trouble or something? Has she ever mentioned to you anything about her landlords? I mean anything. All I know is that she's renting from this young couple. She said that they're pretty nice people. What about you? You ever met her landlord? Yes. She ever say anything about that? I thought you said this wasn't about me. I don't feel comfortable with all these questions. Look, Miss Johnson, your friend broke into her landlord's place about two days ago. Now we're only concerned about her whereabouts. Marlene did that? Mm-hmm. I knew she was a... <laughs> never mind. Uh, never mind what? Uh, is there something you need to tell us? All I know is that she had a crush on her landlord. She talked to me about it a couple of times, but it was only a crush. I don't know what you're writing, but I think you guys should leave now. Okay. Good. But if you should hear from her, give me a call. Now, she's not in any kind of danger or anything, but we just want to ask you a few questions, okay? Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Goodbye. Okay. Right, have a good day. That is, that is my phone. It's a detective. Hello? Hey, Marcus. How's it going? How you doing, sir? Same old busy life. Are you, uh, are you at home? Actually, I'm out jogging with my wife. I'm just calling to tell you that we found your tent. Oh, really? <laughs> Love to hear what she had to say. Well, I'm afraid that will not be possible. Uh, we found her body. What do you mean, her body? She's dead, Marcus. She was found outside her office at her place of work. Jesus. So what happens now? Well, she left a note, a suicide note with some information. ...of some family members. As soon as we get well, in touch with them... We'll have someone contact you to collect her belongings. Thank you. Thanks for passing the news. You got it. Committed suicide. Oh. Oh. Man. I can't 
say that. I'm happy to hear that. It's, it's horrible. A few days ago, you said you wanted to kill her yourself. Marcus, people say stupid things when they're angry, but I never wanted things to end up this way. You know what? I'm kind of... I wish we never rented the basement out. I mean, I feel partly responsible. No, Marcus, there's nothing that anyone could have done. This was bound to happen. That girl has been harboring really bad feelings for a long time. Yeah. It's crazy. I think we better get in. Man, this rain is coming down. Yeah. Oh.